各位大家平安。Peace to our brothers and sisters. 下午我们继续来讲神的好管家第二讲。Uh, this afternoon, our topic will be a continuation from this morning, God's faithful steward. 钱财的管家。To be a steward of money. 我们看回来哥林多前书的第四章。Let's turn back to First Corinthians chapter four. 第一节。Verse one. 哥林多前书四章第一节。First Corinthians chapter four, verse one. Verse one. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Two. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. Paul says, "Ah, he and other disciples are all God's stewards." Here, Paul says that he and the other apostles are all stewards of God. Manage God's church. They are in charge of the house of God. The most important thing is to manage the secret of the mystery. More importantly, they are the stewards of mysteries of God. So, in the morning, we discussed that we need to hold on to truth. This morning, we mentioned that we have to hold on to the truth of God. Not to be swayed by others' opinions or change our stance when we have been influenced by others. Not to change our stance when we have been influenced by others. Not to change our stance when we have been influenced by others. Not to change our stance when we have been influenced by others. Not to change our stance when we have been influenced by others. However, we have to examine ourselves. 看看自己是不是走在神的道路上面。We have to examine to see whether we are traveling on the path towards God. 无论你是管理教会的 ，Whether you are a steward of the Church of God， 或者是在家里当家长的 ，Or you are a parent in your family， 我们都是神奥秘式的管家。We are all stewards of the mysteries of God. 将这个真理保守在我们的生命当中，还有家庭里面。Let us keep the words of God in our life and also in our family. But God not only gives us the truth. God has also entrusted His wealth to us. And the life of a human can be measured in money. We can use our life to buy our time 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 And once you have earned your wealth, you have to take good care of it. That God's good steward is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good steward of God is also a good steward of money. When you think about money, you think about money. A good And the financial affairs in charge have the responsibility to take good care of the wealth of God. 用在需要的地方上面。And they should only be used on what is necessary. 啊，要诚诚实实的，不可以贪钱，不可以偷钱。And to be truthful and honest, and not to be greedy. 啊，不可以像犹大这样偷钱。We cannot be like Judah stealing from God. 然后账目清清楚楚的。And to have a good account. 那这个是我们都理解的。We all understand this. 但是不要以为说只有教会的财务才是神的金钱的好管家。But let us not think that only the wealth of God is is a good steward of God. 我们在这里要讲一个观念。First, we have to give you a concept. 啊，做一个基督徒啊。To be a Christian. 我们要了解我们的人生所有的一切其实不是我们自己的。We have to understand that everything that we own, everything that we have, is not ours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So your everything that you own, everything that you have, is not yours. Because the Lord has redeemed your life. So Because uh, towards the end of your life, you have to settle your account with God. So, in the first chapter, we talked about that. We need to know that our money is God's money. Therefore, on the first slide, you see that my asset also belongs to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this asset to give to God. I only have this Think that only the wealth of the church belongs to God. You 所赚的，你所拥有的，也是神给你的，把它托在你手上。Everything that you own, everything that you possess, actually belongs to God. You're only taking care of it on behalf of God. 啊，说实在，你也带不走，你气断了，脚一伸直的，你一毛钱也带不走啊。Truthfully, you can't even bring these with you after you pass on. 你只是在替神在管钱而已。You are only taking care of it on behalf of God. 好，如果有这个观念的话，我们的想法应该会完全不同。If that is the concept you hold, then your behavior will change completely. We know that money is one of the most important things in life. 
We know that money is the most important topic in the life of a human. We have to earn money. We have to spend money. We have to save money. We have to invest. In fact, we have to save it for the next generation. These are some of the main concepts of uh, of people of the world before they belong, before they believe in Christ. However, you and I are the children of God. If that uh, we have to understand that whatever we spend, whatever we invest, our purpose is to bring honor to God. So So let us learn how to be good stewards of money. We are we are looking we are taking care of our money on behalf of God. Some say Money is a very good servant. However, it's a terrible owner or master. Why? Because money itself is neutral. If you use it, you can do a lot of good things. However, if you're under the influence of money, you're being controlled by your desires. And money can make you do a lot of terrible things in your life such that you will not ever find happiness in your life. Let us take a look at what our Lord Jesus said. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Our Lord Jesus here said that no one can serve two masters at the same time. You can only select one to be a master. When you select one, you will despise the other. If you have selected money to be your master, then you will look down upon Jesus. Because all you'll be thinking about is how to earn more money. You will never think about Lord Jesus. So we can only select Jesus to be our master. And to see money as our servant. This is our principle in life. That is, we have to see Jesus as the center of our life. And people who are non-Christians, they often measure themselves using money. The value of their life fluctuates with the, 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 the amount of money they have in their possession. But our value differs. We often ask ourselves one question. Why did God create me? Why am I still alive today? What would God want me to do? What talents has God blessed me with and what can I do with them? And what is our calling from the Lord? What are our missions in life that God wants us to do? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. Instead of asking how much money I can make in my entire life, for example, if you go to a hardware store like Home Depot, you have to ask yourself what tools you need. The first thing you ask you have to ask yourself is what you're going to make. You won't buy every tool available in the store and bring them home asking yourself what you're gonna do with them. You will only buy what you need for your project. So let us think. In, in the same way, and what would God wants us, want us to achieve in our lives? Money is only a tool that we can use. And we want our money to be our servant. So, how do we become a good steward of money? We'll raise a few points this afternoon. First, 
we have to develop this habit of offering tithes to God. 在神祝福你钱财上面做好管家的第一个最重要的任务。This is the very first responsibility or mission that you are supposed to have when you want to become a good steward of God. 好，我们看箴言的第三章。Let's turn to Proverbs chapter three. 第九节。Proverbs chapter three verse nine. 三章的第九节，这里说你要以财物和一切粗俗的土产尊荣耶和华。Verse nine: Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. 我们刚刚讲过的人生，神造我们的目的是什么 ？Earlier we mentioned what is the purpose of God's creation. 神造我们就是荣耀他。God created us to glorify Him. 如果你没有荣耀神，你人生就白活了。If you have not glorified God, you have lived in vain. 好，那我们怎么荣耀神 ？How do we glorify God? 有很多方法。Many ways. 做圣工啊，传福音啊，都是荣耀神。Uh, do the holy work to preach the gospel. These are examples of glorifying God. 但是这里说一个很基本的我们要做的。But here it gives us a very basic thing that we can do. 就是粗俗的土产。That is the first fruits of our increase. 以前的人是种田的。In the past, people plant. 啊，那拿到什么果子才可以有饭吃 ？And whatever they sow, they will have food to eat. 好了，剩下的拿去卖，才有现金。可以买别的东西。And with the access, they will sell in exchange for money to buy what they need. 好，你想想看，当那个那个农作物第一批叫收成了，叫做粗俗的第一批。The very first harvest. 啊，通常在市场上面价值比较高，因为这个时候大家都还没有收成，你要先收成，那个价值就比较高了。Usually, the value of the first harvest are are higher than the others because yours. Your harvest has ripened first. 圣经说啊，你要把粗俗的先拿到神面前啊。The Bible tells us that we have to offer God our first fruits. 我们常常奉献都是说啊，我已经用完了，剩多少了，我才来做个随便做个感恩奉献。Normally, we offer to God what we have in excess. 不是神不要的不是这个，神要的是粗俗的土产。Yet this is not what God wants. God wants the first fruit. 就是你都还没有吃，你就先奉献给神了。That is before you consume, you have given God. A portion of it. 其实不是神很爱钱。It's not that God loves money. 神也不吃你的果子。And neither does God consume your your crops. 神要你荣耀他。God wants you to glorify Him. 为什么你收成了，马上拿给神就荣耀神 ？Why is it that、uh, after your first harvest you offer it to God? 因为你承认了这个这个是神祝福我才有的。Because you're admitting or acknowledging that it is God's blessing that you have your harvest. 所以要先拿到他面前感谢他。And that is why you're bringing your first fruits to God to give thanks to Him. 这这个就是十亿奉献的这个概念。And that is the concept of tithes. 不是用剩了才拿给神。It's not to offer God access. 也不是有什么特别感恩的事才来做感恩的奉献。Or to give God because you are especially thankful. 你每个月固定的，你还没你拿到收入还没有花呢，就先把十分之一先拿给神。Before you even spend your monthly salary, you offer one tenth of it to God. 啊，这个就是得福气的源头。This is the source of your blessings. 我们看马拉基书的第三章。Let's turn to Malachi chapter three. 啊，马拉基书的第三章。Malachi chapter three. 第十节。Verse ten. 请读。Verse ten. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. 这个是神的应许啊。This is a promise from God. 每一个基督徒都应该去做的。Every Christian should be doing this. 如果你想要在接下来我们所讲的一切的动作当中得到神的祝福 ，If you want to receive blessings that we're going to mention afterwards， 你一定要做这点。Then you have to at least do this. 因为神要求的。This is a requirement from God. 如果你这一点没有做，其他的都不都不太需要讲。If you did not even do this, we don't even have to mention all the rest. 因为其他事情上面你得不到神的祝福。Because in all the other things, you will not receive blessings from God. 好，那我们来讲第二点。Let's talk about. Let's talk about the second point. 怎么来做钱财上的好管家 ？How do we become a good steward of money? 我们要有理想，要有一个 vision. We got to have an ambition. We got to have a vision. 比如说，我以后希望住的比较好的房子。For example, I wish to live in a better house. 我以后希望可以过得比较安稳的退休的生活。And I wish to have a good retirement. 好，这个都是理想。These are all your visions. 但是我们不可以活在幻想当中啊。Yet we cannot live in fantasies. 理想是可以达到的。A vision is attainable. 是一个目标。It's a target. It's a goal. 为了要达成这个理想，你需要某一些钱财来帮助你。In order to achieve your vision, you will need some money to help you. 但是很多人活在幻想当中。Yet a lot of people live in fantasies. 
什么叫幻想 ？What is a fantasy？ 这是两个字，中文就是想要发达。Uh, that is, you want to be enormously rich. Ah, we know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese people are very fond of rich. We know that the Chinese New Year is approaching. Chinese And money, money. Everyone is thinking about money, and they think about it so much they even dream about it. 什么叫发财 ？What is to be prosperous? 这是不需要工作赚很多钱啊，这是发财呀。That is, you don't have to work and you have a lot of money. 还有在很短时间之内，你很少的钱变很多的钱，这叫发财。Or in a very short period of time, you have managed to accumulate a lot of money. 你工作存钱，你好好的投资，慢慢的累积，那个不叫发财。If you work for your money and you invest wisely. It is. This is not being prosperous. 那个那个是 grow 的 money 啊，那个是正常的。This is called growing your money. This is very normal. 发财好像一下子爆炸了，哇，到处都有了。Prosperous means you get rich overnight. 如果你是活在幻想当中啊，你永远是钱财的仆人。If you live in a fantasy all your life, you're forever a servant of money. 你会很失望。You will be disappointed. 我们看箴言二十三章第四节。Let's turn to Proverbs twenty-three. 箴言二十三章的第四节。Proverbs twenty-three, verse four. 不要劳碌求富，修长自己的聪明。第五节。Five. 你岂要定睛在虚无的钱财上吗？因为钱财必长翅膀，如鹰上天飞去啊。Four. Do not overwork to be rich, because of your understanding cease. Five. Will you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings; they fly away like an eagle toward heaven. 有一些人呢，他就是活在幻想当中。There are people who live in fantasies. 看到别人那么有钱，那很羡慕。When they see other people are rich, they are very envious. 他不知道人家努力了多久。They haven't seen the amount of effort that other people have put in. 他自己想说，我要跟别人一样，我不需要努力，我也可以跟别人一样。All they wanted to do is to be like others, to have money without working hard for it. 好了，他的眼睛呢，就一直放在发财的目标上面。And so all they see is their enormous wealth. 好了，结果呢 ？And the end. 圣经说啊，这个钱呢，好像会长翅膀，会飞的。The Bible tells us that it seems that money has wings and it can fly away. 哇、啊，这个钱呢，会流动，会飞走了。And money is fluid; it has wings, it can fly. 我们要记得一个一个定律。Always remember this fact. 来得快，去得也快。What comes fast will also go fast. 赚的容易。亏也会容易。If it's easy money, you will lose it easily too. 这个神定律的，这个一定是这样的。This is a fact. 没有说哦，很容易来啊，结果你可以很容易留住了。And if it comes fast, it's very difficult for you to keep it. 所以我们要有理想，但是不要活在幻想。So we must have a vision, but not live in fantasy. 但是很多人喜欢幻想，没有理想。But a lot of people loves fantasies, but does not have a vision. We look at twenty-eight, verse nineteen. Proverbs 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 twenty-eight, verse
If you work hard and you labor, um, your money will increase. 但是那种啊, 不太需要精神的, 只需要胆量的那种赚, However, uh, the other way of getting wealth is not by hard work, not by labor, but uh, by dishonesty. These will diminish very fast. 啊, 有人就问了, 那请问呢, 基督徒可不可以做股票? Some people ask whether Christians can uh, invest in stocks. 因为大家如果有留意新闻, 过去一个礼拜最大的新闻, if you have followed the news in the past week, you will realize that the biggest news is regarding the stock market. 啊, 有很多很多人啊, 现在对这个股票, 在北美洲啊, 对股票非常的疯狂。A lot of people in North America are crazy about the stock market right now. 上, Last week something happened. 这是三户啊,股票的三户, And due to convenience of technology, a lot of the small traders, uh, the young traders, uh, they are buying stocks using their cell phones. 啊, 以前呢, 要要被扣这个手续费, in, the, in the past, if you want to buy uh, stocks, you have to go through brokerages, which will cost you money. 现在这个手机啊, 包括这些app呢, and now, with certain apps, you can trade uh, without a fee, and it's very convenient. 还有现在呢, and due to the pandemic, a lot of people are at home with nothing better to do. 啊, 也有一些人有一些闲钱啊, 政府拿了福利啦, and uh, with the excess money that they have, or from the subsidies uh, from the government. 最主要是年轻人, 20到35岁的比例最多, and these are usually young men between the age of 20 to 35. And they will be downloading these apps to trade for free, and they will be buying stocks. Wow, 报纸还要登啊, 现在很夸张啊, 一边, 有一些一边蹲马桶的时候, uh, there are people who are buying uh, stocks as they were doing something else. In the bathroom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were trading stocks in their bathroom. Wow, 那个好像啊, 好多年轻人对这个... And a lot of young people are very interested in trading stocks. 那些散户连起来攻击那些跟那些华尔街的那些基金啊，hedge news that all the young traders, uh, they are banding up together, uh, to fight against all the hedge fund uh, companies.啊，几只股票啊，GameStop啦，AMC啦，BlackBerry啊，哇，被他们对赌，通到一天可以涨了好多好多倍。uh, young traders, they were banding together and, and and investing, or rather trading in stocks of three companies like GameStop, AMC, and BlackBerry, causing the price to increase exponentially. A lot of young people, they invested thousands, but received rewards of up to tens of thousands. Perhaps um, seniors may not know what I'm talking about, but the younger generation definitely knows what I'm talking about. 所以很多年轻人呢, 我知道啊, 你们心里痒痒的了, 哎呀, 早知道我放几千块进去, and a lot of young people may be thinking, if I had known this, I would have invested a few hundreds, and now at least I will have thousands. 现在圣经不看啊, and I might as well uh, discard my studies and my books and just go on to Reddit to seek to observe and see which stock will be increasing in value next. This is very dangerous. 首先, so first, people were asking, can Christians um, trade stocks? 首先, what does it mean by trading stocks? Buying stocks means that you own a percentage of this company. It's like going out to buy a business. You don't have the money to buy the entire business, so you can only buy stocks. It's a portion. Uh, there's no right or wrong to buying a business. It's only whether you are buying the right business or not. 啊, 那如果有人有闲钱, 他想要承受的这些风险, 他要去买这种生意, and if you have excess money and you 
believe in the business you want to buy, um, that good luck to you. There's no right or wrong. There are risks involved. If you are uh, very rational, you have done your research, then you have also labored for it. And you're holding it long term. 但是如果你是那種學生家這種年輕人啊,拿了一個手機啊,整天來看Rob啊,那個Reddit啊,然後在Robinhood上面要下單啊,那裡要小心啊。If you are a young uh, youth, if you're a youth and you are using your phone to trade stocks following Reddit and trading on Robinhood, you should be careful. 什麼叫day trading? 就是一天買賣好多次。What is day trading? That is you buy and sell uh, many times in a day. 買了買了又買,買了又買,買了又買,買了又買。you buy and sell hoping to make a gain. One day you will trip and fall. And don't say that I am cursing you. At the very beginning, you may be making a profit. But this is likened to gambling. You have no idea what this company does. You don't even look at its financial statements. You're only following blindly. You may invest nine times and you have made a lot of money, but this is not right. Because the more money you make, the bolder you become. And for your tenth time, you are gambling and you're putting a lot of money. 结果你第十次全部输光,剩下一条裤子,可能裤子都没有。It is very possible that you will lose everything in your tenth trade. 所以不要贪心啊。So let us not be greedy. 圣经告诉我们,做神钱财的好管家是什么意思。When the Bible tells us that we have to be good stewards of money, what does it mean? 不要贪心。Let us not be greedy. 不要做短期的炒作。Let us not be day trading, day traders. 尤其是年轻人在二十到三十几岁的。Especially the youth in the twenties and thirties. 网上有一些。年轻人说, and some people, some youth say that I'm doing this like into playing computer games. 唉, this is quite pitiful. Because they have no idea how much uh, losses they will have to bear. Do not think that other people are making money. You're only setting your sight on the one person who had made money, but you haven't seen all the thousands who have lost theirs. And especially Christians, you should never play uh, options. Oh, the derivatives. If you don't know what they are, that's fine. 不知道,比较单纯一点。If you don't know what they are, that's good, because you are simpler. 知道了也不要去碰,什么买空,造空,扣啊,put啊,这根本就是赌博啊。And even if you know how they work, don't, don't trade in them by a, uh, putting, a, a, putting in a put option or a call option. 之前有年轻人在网络上面用这个Robinhood买那些延伸工具。And there are some youth uh, using, the, using the app, uh, Robinhood app, they have uh, traded in options. And they have maximized their leverage. And they have uh, spent tens of thousands on buying derivatives. Hoping to make a lot of money. But they have not made any money. In fact, they lost half a million dollars. When they see the number 500,000 on their cell phone, 哎呀, 想不开啊, 就去跳楼, um, they couldn't handle it, and so they ended their own lives. 还是很聪明的孩子啊, 读名校啊, a very smart child, a youth, um, studying in a well-known university. So you should never play with derivatives. So let's be careful. 还有, 如果你就要投资市场, 資本市場啊, and if you do want to invest, uh, in, or rather, I want to put in an investment, do not invest in companies associated with sin. The Bible tells us that we should not have a part in sin. Was it sin? And um, things that Christians should not do, as well as don't invest in companies that sell these things. 
if you don't gamble, why do you buy stocks of a casino? If you don't even smoke marijuana, why do you invest in a cannabis company? If you invest in these companies, you have a part in sin. The Bible is very clear on this. There is a fine, uh, uh, there is a fine line between light and darkness. So don't be do not be greedy. Do not pursue, uh, uh, rather follow uh, for, for volatility. So the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Ah, we just talked about the best way is to work hard. Twenty-nine. Do you see a man who excels in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Here, it's very good. Ah, sometimes you see, ah, ban is in qin. English is all excelled in his work. That is to say, his work is very excellent, very excellent. So it says here, do you see a man who excels in his work? Many people do things, ah, in the office, ah, freely, freely. A lot of people they have a rather casual attitude towards their work. Work, 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 work. When they go to work, they're waiting for the end of the day. Ah, sometimes they're even late going to work. And sometimes they were even late going to work. Sometimes they were even late going to work. Or they would leave work early. The boss pushes him, he would work. Ah, 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 the boss pushes And usually they are also the first person to get to get laid off. 圣经叫我们做什么？你做一个雇员也好，做生意也好，都要殷勤，还有 excellent excel 啊！你要做的最好，把最好的给老板，给公司。The Bible tells us that in whatever work that you do, you have to excel in it. 这里说了，到最后你就会站在君王面前啊。Because at the end you will stand before kings. 哇，你不会站在下贱人面前。You will not stand before unknown men. So this is hard work. This is the attitude when you work, regardless of your wages. You have to work hard. 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 You have to Third, how to be a good steward of money. We have to be disciplined in our spending. This is very difficult. 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 This 到底这个买这个是我们想要还是我们需要？我们也搞不清楚。Just exactly, you are you buying what you need or are you buying what you want? 还有呢，你到底能不能负担这个东西？你清不清楚 ？And can you afford your spending? 包括一些奢侈品 ，and including some luxurious items. 包括车子、房子，你这个东西是你需要的呢，还是你能够负担的吗？ Your houses, your automobiles, are these what you need, and can you afford them? Some people are just wanting to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought about whether they can afford it or not. Some people only want to buy, but they never thought And the government is printing a lot of money to stimulate the economy. 银行的钱呐、啊，那个水淹到他们银行家的那个鼻孔了，已经。And they're saying that the money that the banks own is not up to their nose. The, the, the bank has is not up to their nose. 因为大家也存款啊，也也也 pandemic 啊，没得花钱，没得旅行嘛，所以银行很多钱啊。And a lot of people, because of the pandemic, have nowhere to go and nowhere to spend. They have a lot of money in their bank accounts. 政府的利息要把它弄到差不多零。And The interest rates, the 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 national bank has already decreased it to almost zero. Wow, mortgage rate the rate is so low. So the mortgage interest rate is now very low. Wow, 大家好高兴啊！这银行给你拿了 credit， 银行说我你可以借那么多少，你就跳起来了。哇，你看我很有钱啊。And when the bank tells you that your credit limit has increases, you must be very happy. 就会买一些自己负担不起的东西，以后再还呢。
and you start buying things that you can't afford. These are all traps that you should be watched out for. As a Christian, we must uh spend what we have. 啊, 这个车子很漂亮, 但是你负担得起吗, you have seen a very beautiful car, but you have to ask yourself, can you afford it? 还是你想说别人有, or are you asking yourself because other people drive this car, I want to have an exact same one? 啊, 别人住这种房子, or other people live in this big mansion, I want one too. 你借得到, 不代表, you may be able to borrow the money to buy it, but can you afford to pay down your debt? 所以, so you have to only spend what you measure yourself and see what you have. 不在乎你赚多少, 是在乎你花多少? It doesn't matter how much you earn, rather it's how much you spend. 哦, 我们看真言, Let's turn to Proverbs chapter 21, verse 17. 真言, 21, chapter 21, verse 17. 17. He who loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. 啊, 圣经的话是永恒的真理啊. The words of the Bible are eternal truth. 你爱宴乐吗? 爱那些高油吗? Do you love pleasure? Do you love wine and oil? Do you like spending? If you don't control your spending, you will end up being poor. Uh, Warren Buffett said something very famous. If you often buy things that you don't need, then very soon you'll be selling what you do need. This is very true. But not a lot of people will be thinking about this. So let us uh, limit our spending. If today you are leading a good life, 啊, 你钱, 你收入, 还可以, 呃, you have a good salary, 也不要说, 哇, then you should not be keep spending. 啊, you have to prepare for the future. 好, 再来第四点, Fourth point. 我们呢, 要, 拒绝, 弃绝贪行, Let us not be greedy. This is very important and an important fact if you want to be a good steward of money. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 5. 五章的第五节, chapter 5, verse 5. 5, chapter 5, verse 5. For thus you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. So these kind of people will never enter into the kingdom of God. And by saying that they have no inheritance in the kingdom of God, it means that they have no part in God. If you cannot enter into the kingdom of God, where will you end up? There is no other place for you to go except down to hell. We, we often mention just the first point that do not fornicate. 好, 我们讲, 我们说没有, then we often reply, no, we don't fornicate. 啊, 误会的呢, what, about, what about unclean? You're not unclean. 但是小心, but there's one point that we seldom mention. Covetous men cannot enter into the kingdom of God. What does it mean to be covetous? Big desires. 总是觉得自己不够, that you often think that you don't have enough. You often want things that don't belong to you. In a short period of time, this is not considered a major, a major sin. But as it accumulates, it will become a big number, and one day these people will depart from God. And that was uh, when the people of Israel left uh, Egypt, there was among them, a man named Achan. He was greedy. God instructed the people through Moses that they should never touch anything in the city of Jericho. They should uh, burn all of them. And Achan, seeing the gold and silver in the city, um, the, he was greedy. So he kept some. 后来被发现, and he was discovered. 打死, and he himself was stoned to death, and he also caused the, the, uh, the falling of his entire family. Just for that few shirts. For that few pieces of gold. What did he lose? He lost his life. The life of his entire family. 
he cannot enter into the land of Canaan. 但是有时候他贪的时候就不会想那么远。But sometimes in the moment of being greedy, you don't think that far. 如果他用长期的眼光来看，他绝对不会要那个东西。If he had thought far enough, he would never have kept these. 我以后在迦南地更好啊。That if I can enter into the land of Canaan, my life will be better. 但是呢，贪的时候呢，他就忘记神的话。But in that moment of greedy, he forgot about the words of God. 所以他要成为旧约里中其中一个。最贪心的人失去生命。So as a greedy man in the Old Testament, he lost his life. 新约有一个犹大。In the New Testament, we have Judas. 卖了耶稣。He betrayed Jesus. 结果呢，自己失去一切。And he lost everything. 所以贪财的人绝对进不了天国。So a covetous man shall never enter into the kingdom of God. 我们很少讲这个，但是这是圣经的话。We seldom mention this, but this is a, a quote from the Bible. 但是这个社会是很贪心的。This society we live in is greedy. 资本主义的一个最基础就是要引起人家的贪欲来刺激这个经济啊，促进这个生产。The root of capitalism is greed, which is used to stimulate、uh, production. 如果大家都觉得很满意，那资本主义就没有办法运作起来。If everyone is satisfied, that capitalism will never work. 但是但是呢，圣经就是告诉我们相反的。But the Bible tells us the very opposite. 我们看希伯来书十三章第五节。Let's turn to Book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, verse five. 十三章的第五节。Chapter thirteen, verse five. 十三章第五节。Chapter thirteen, verse five. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have, for He Himself has said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." 啊，圣经说不可以，你们存心不可贪爱钱财啊。And the Bible tells us that let your conduct be without covetousness. This is very important. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you cannot own it. You can own it, but you 帮助我们在这世上生活，过金钱的日子。It is a tool to help us to lead a godly life on earth. 不是越多越好啊。It's not the more the merrier. 没有信神的人，他们觉得 love 就是越多越好。And people of the world, if they're non-Christians, they would love to have more of it. 圣经的话就是够用就好。The Bible tells us that it is enough. As long as it is enough, it is good. 这里说以自己所有的为主啊。Says, be content with such things as you have. 感谢主啊，虽然我房子不是很大，感谢主够住啊。I thank God even my even though my house is small, but it's enough. 啊，我车子虽然不是很新，还可以开。I may be driving an old car, but it's still moving. 啊，那该换的时候我也可以换，我有钱可以换。And when it's time to change a new car, at least I have the money to change a new one. 那如如果我需要更大的空间，神也会帮我预备。And if I need a bigger space, God will prepare one for me. 不要老是跟别人比较。Do not、uh, compare others yourself to others. 因为这里圣经说，主曾说啊，我总不撇下你。It says here in this verse, for He Himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 我们就是怕，因为有一天不够嘛。We are always afraid that we are insufficient. 我们怕啊 ，being left out 嘛，哦，好像错过了什么机会嘛。We are often Afraid that we have left, out, we're being left out. 大家买，如果不买，我就我就错过了，我是笨蛋了。Oh, we have missed out on an opportunity. 小心啊 ！Be careful. 你的希望是在哪里 ？Where have you placed your hope? 神说，我不会撇下你，你不会不够钱，你不会没饭吃的。God said, I will never leave you. You will never go hungry. You will never go poor. 你爱我，我会照顾你的生活，照顾你的孩子。If you love me, I'll take care of you. I'll take care of your life. 如果你爱世界，你就会离开我。If you love the world, I will depart from you. Wow, this is the Bible's words. These are the words of the Bible. Wow, we look at Timothy chapter six. Let's turn to First Timothy, First Timothy chapter six, verse nine. Timothy chapter six, verse nine. Nine. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Verse ten. But the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in the greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Here, Paul explains why those who are greedy for money cannot enter into the kingdom of God. They are deceived. 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 They are Uh, suffer loss from trading stocks. Some people went to kill themselves. They were not robbed. Some people ended up killing themselves or committing suicide. They felt that they had fallen into a snare. Some people went to kill themselves. They were not robbed. Some people ended up killing themselves or committing suicide. They felt that they had fallen into a snare. Some people ended up killing themselves. They were not robbed. Some people ended up killing themselves or committing suicide. They felt that they had fallen into a snare. Some people ended up killing themsel
And there are people who are embezzled from the company to in order to pay off their debts. This also happened in the church. Not here, but somewhere else. There are financial affairs who are stealing from the church to pay off their debt from uh, from uh, their trading stocks. They have been tempted, tempted. They they weren't like that in the past. But this loss is so big that they have to get the money somewhere else. So they have been they have fallen into temptation and caught by a snare. I was watching a short video on how to catch crabs. As a big cage. And, in the, and the bait was a big piece of salmon. And a camera was attached to the cage. And the cage was placed at the bottom of the water. And very soon, the crabs were attracted by the smell of the fish and came. At the very beginning, they can't enter into the cage. But they keep squeezing through. And it seems that the crabs themselves are quite flexible. They're able to squeeze into the cage. And the bait, the salmon itself, was wrapped by another cage. So there is a cage within a cage. And so even if the crabs manage to squeeze into the huge cage, they're still unable to get to the bait. They could touch it, but they cannot grab it. And at the same time, more crabs keep crawling in. Wow. And when the time is up, oh, the uh, man in the boat will start pulling the, the cage out of the water. Oh, and the camera shows all the crabs struggling to get out. Oh, and when the cage is pulled out of the water and in front of the fisherman, oh, Fish will be smiling or laughing loudly because they have a good harvest. Ah, and the crabs are very stupid. They themselves cannot get to the bait and they became dinner. I was thinking, we are probably those crabs. The devil sees whatever you like, he will provide it to you. If you don't like beautiful women, I'll give you money. See, all these have to do with pride. What do you need money, so much money for? You want to be number one in the world, comparing yourself to others. So it says here, uh, many foolish and harmful lusts which draw men into destruction and perdition. And some people say, Preacher, that's not my goal. I just want to have a bit more. I will not uh, sin. But take a look at 10, verse 10. Ah, the love of money may be the cause of you to depart from the church. It's not that you want to stray from the faith. But rather, your heart is not in it anymore. Every day, if you if every day you are on your cell phone buying and selling stocks, then imagine sitting here in the chapel listening to the sermon, your heart will still be on the stocks, even though there's no trading on a Saturday. And whatever your wife says to you or children say to you, you are probably not be listening. And you have pierced yourself with many sorrows. These are all words from the Bible. We can work hard for money. We can also have a good plan in our investments. Long, for long term wise. But let us not be greedy. Do not imitate others. Nor should we do things that are out of our ability. What is most important? 
the most important is for us to honor God or glorify God. Whatever we have, we are taking care of it temporarily on behalf of God. That in the future, we have to settle our account. Lord, what you have given me, I have made good use of it. I have used it to take care of our children, use it to take care of my family. More importantly, I have used the money you have blessed me with to, to uh, offer to the church to help out with the church work. God will never ask you how much money you have in the world. God will never ask you how much money you have left for your next generation. God will only ask you how have you made good use of the money I have given you. Have you used it to glorify Him? Let us sing Him. 120. Number 120. 